Hello everyone and welcome to our weekly Wednesday reflection. It is really lovely to be with you. On Sunday we joined together for our first ever Muddy Church where we had fun creating bug houses and bird feeders. We spoke about God's creation and we shared food together. After Muddy Church we had our outdoors um, churches together service in the grounds of Christ Church. We were joined by Father Peter and the Catholic Church and Mercy Chapel, the Pentecostal Church who meet in Snodland Community Centre. We came together as one church here in Snodland and we haven't been able to do this for such a long time since before Covid. I'd like to share with you now a few uh, sentences of scripture from the book of Romans chapter 12 beginning at verse 4. For just as each of us has one body with many members and these members do not all have the same function so in Christ we though many form one body and each member belongs to all the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. The church is the body of Christ, each of us coming together with our individual gifts and talents, working together to build the kingdom of God in the place where he has set us. It has been so difficult over these past 16 months of COVID. We need community, we need to be together and and that has been impossible in many cases during this past 16 months. We haven't been able to meet together in person as we once did. And we haven't as a church been able to meet as we once did. What has, has been wonderful is that we have been able to meet in a virtual way, whether on Zoom or on Facebook and YouTube via live streaming. It has enabled members of our community, the body of Christ, to be part of the church from their own homes. After all, church is not the building, it is the people. And although dispersed during COVID, we are still one church, one body through Christ. And I'm sure during this time of COVID, we have grown in size and there are now more members of the body of Christ here in the church in Snodland. Things will start to change after July the 19th. What that will look like is still to be discovered. However, we must look to the future and new ways of it being together, encouraging one another, supporting each other and sharing our gifts as we continue to build the kingdom of God here in Snodland. We all have a part to play in the future of our church, the future of the church here in Snodland, the body of Christ here in Snodland. And so the question I want to leave you with today is what will your part be? How can you use your gifts and talents that you have been blessed with to build the kingdom of God here in Snodland? Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you that you love us and that you know us. We thank you that you have blessed us with gifts and talents. We ask that you will help us to discover our gifts and talents and the way that we can use them to build your kingdom here in Snodland. We do pray for whatever will happen after July the 19th. 
We pray for your wisdom and guidance as we look towards the future and the building of your kingdom here. And we ask this in and through your precious name. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless.